Yeah, it's the same as when we made stock in the past, James said. Just skim it off and toss it. Though, if you don't get all of it, it's not like it'll harm you if you ate it. Maya nodded as she skimmed off the scum. A few hisses were heard as she tapped the spoon on the pot, and the scum went into the fire. The smell of the meat wafted through the air, filling the surrounding air with the mouth watering scent of the meat, spices, and herbs mixing together. Checking out the wolf being slowly turned over the fire, James said, That smells really good. Placing the spoon back to being laid on top of the pot, Maya turned to look at where the wolf was being cooked. She looked back to James and grinned. It'll probably be ready in a little bit. I suspect that Kate will remove the wolf from being above the fire to just next to it. It won't be long. Kate overheard them talking about the meat. She smiled, understanding that the flavors were starting to make James and Maya hungry and ready to eat the meat. Hearing that it wasn't ready yet, James decided to return to looking through the recipe book. Though the recipes were complicated, it would be good to at least be familiar with the cooking techniques involved. It seems like there are steps that repeat in a lot of these recipes. If I learn a few of these things, then I'll likely be able to elevate my abilities. James thought to himself. He had a sense that he'd be cooking a lot on the request. It's not like I won't be having to cook when I leave the underground city. James said, thinking about life after he gets strong enough. Maya would occasionally go between the two fires. With the wolf, she'd help add more logs to the fire. The pile of firewood that was prepared ahead of time by the others was slowly decreasing in size. At some point, I'll need to get more firewood, James said. Fortunately, with firewood, it'd be much easier compared to locating a branch large and sturdy enough to carry a forest wolf. There were plenty of branches on the forest floor that was rotted and ready to be burned. Going back to the pot with the stock, James used the spoon to skim off the scum. As time passed, the amount of scum that needed to be removed decreased. He knew that getting rid of all of it would be unnecessary. Tasting some of the stock, James smiled at the taste. It's definitely better than what I made in the past. He felt good knowing that he was a better cook. Any improvement meant that he was growing as an adventurer. While I gather firewood, I should keep an eye out for any herbs and spices to replace what we used. We can also increase what we're carrying, James said, looking beyond the camp. As he scanned the camp, James tried to hear any sounds of monsters. It's probably because we're still on the outer part of the forest. The number of monsters is still relatively small until we get deeper. James sighed, thinking about how in the future they'd likely have moments where monsters try to attack their camp. James grabbed two sticks that were used to carry the coals and added them to the coals beneath the pot. Compared to the fire for the wolf, the stock only needed to simmer, so it didn't need to get hot enough where it would boil. Hey, I'm going to get some more firewood, James said to the two women. Okay, Kate said. Maya got up and walked over to where James was. I'll keep an eye out to make sure that it doesn't begin to boil. Thanks, James said as he got up from where he was crouching. He stretched and yawned. They still hadn't had a chance to sleep while they were preparing everything. He gave a weary wave of his hand to Maya and Kate before he made his way out of the camp. <laughs>